Matthew 13 and verse 25. And we're going to do what we got to do to get out of here, okay? Look what it said according to the gospel, according to Matthews. But while men slept, his enemy or his hater came and sowed tear among the wheat. And look what he did. He went his way. Look at somebody. Don't that sound like the devil? Messed some stuff up and gone about his way. Father in heaven, we thank you, God, for the reading of your word. We pray, God, you give us ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord declared in the church. And forever give your glory and give your praise in Jesus' name. Thank God in amen. Ursula, you may be seated, amen, in the presence of the Lord. I just want to speak, amen, just from a space of time from that one verse of scripture. And preach from this thought the danger of sleeping on the job. Look at somebody said the danger of sleeping on the job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The danger of sleeping on the job. Why? Because you become a threat to everybody on the job. Amen. You become a threat to everybody that's on the job. Mm -hmm. And so we got to wake up. Mm -hmm. The scripture said to wake up uh, the mighty men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got to shake everybody up because the enemy, amen, is busy while we're asleep. Mm hmm let me say two or three things about this new year, amen, then I get right into the danger of sleeping on the job. Now, we know, amen, we claim it a year of blessings. We claim it a year of overflow. Some of you are saying, amen, God is truly going to bless us this year like never before. Amen. Our expectation is high, amen, just knowing, amen, that God is going to deliver in this year like none other year in the past. How many of you believe that? Mm-hmm. But look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, according to Galatians 6 and 7, somewhere in there, he said, God is not marked. Mm -hmm. For whatsoever, look at somebody, I said, whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall also reap. Uh-huh. Look at somebody, tell him, God haven't changed, baby. Mm -hmm. The war is still, is still contrary between the flesh and the spirit. Uh-huh. And he that set his affection on the things of this world shall surely perish. He will surely perish. So, so even though God is, 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 we're looking for God to bless us this year, men us believe, amen, everything just going to happen automatic. Mm. And we'll be sowing seed. But tell somebody else, some seeds of unrighteousness as you sow unto your flesh. Baby, you yet still going to reap corruption in an hour of blessing and in a time of overflow. Tell your neighbor on your way down, don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And don't get caught up in you getting everything for nothing, baby. There's yet still a price to pay. Uh huh. And if you're living on the outside, if you're living out of the will of God, amen, the Bible say, amen, he that sow to his flesh, will of the flesh reap corruption. Uh, tell somebody, you better get real and wake up, amen. Uh, there, there's still an uh, enemy unto your faith. Look at your neighbor as your neighbor. Have you not heard? There is an accuser of the brethren, and, and he's seeking whom he may devour. He's walking back and forth among us, willing to see who can he deceive. But I guarantee you, baby, if you fall awake, feel awake. If, if, if you fall awake in God, then, amen, you can stand and watch, amen, the enemy will fall off. And the Bible says, amen, he will not, amen, let anything like that slip upon us. But I'm praying for those that has fallen asleep, Johnny on the job. Look at somebody, Johnny on the job. Look at we got to get Johnny off. Huh? Somebody said he may flush the wrong pile. You'll get, you'll get that when you get grown. Okay? Huh, huh, huh? And so that's a danger of you, beloved, falling asleep on the job. Even in the natural, man, they warn you, they give you space, they give you time, or take 
break and lumps come and all this kind of trying to keep you awakened in a well. Mm -hmm. Some of you uh, working machinery that if you, you got to watch your hands, you got to watch your eye moving. You, and not only that, you got to watch the ones around you because you can cause so much damage in the place that you will not only harm or kill yourself, but you will kill others. So we, we can't have you sleeping, pressing, pressing, amen, the little green button and the yellow button and the blue button and the, uh, amen, the blue button going to blow us all up and you nodding and hitting all. We can't, look, I said, we can't have you sleeping on the job. So, so we got to shake you, baby. We can't have you, amen, trying to land this 747 and you nodding and, and all this kind of stuff. Look at someone, we can't have you trying to drive this bus and you nodding and all this kind of stuff and you you want to be the one amen driving and we taking a, a, cost, a, a cross country trip or uh, that's ro um, road trip baby and, and you, you're going to be the driver amen and everybody got a, a plenty of sleep but you somehow amen stayed up with the curls of this world. You got caught up in this and you got caught up in it and you want to be a, a long distance driver and somewhere, amen, all this stuff coming before us, and you up there nodding, and all this stuff. Look at somebody, we can't have you driving, baby. Mm -mm. We, we, somebody got to shake you. Somebody got to wake you up, because there is a danger, amen, of you sleeping on the job. Now, the Bible say, amen, that when men sleep, amen, the enemy know physically, amen, sometimes, look at somebody, say, you got to go to bed. We talking to our son now, amen, want to stay up 3 o'clock in the morning, amen, and don't want to get up at 9 on Sunday to come to church. We, boy, you got to go to sleep. You can't stay up 3 o'clock in the morning and all this kind of stuff. Didn't want to get up early and go to work. That's why some of you get fired, amen. Y'all want to stay up and party, leave one party and go to another party. Then go on your job and you over there in the corner rocking and doing that. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you flipping burgers. I don't care if you making milkshakes. I don't care if you scrambling the eggs. I don't care what you're doing, baby. Look at somebody and say, you can't sleep on the job. Tell somebody that's a danger of sleeping on the jaw. Now, the Bible, amen, said the enemy. Look at somebody said the enemy. That means there's somebody that's not for you. The enemy, there's someone that's not in your circle. The enemy, there's someone that is not in agreement with you. That's what the enemy is. There's somebody that's not for you. Somebody that don't believe in you. Can I bring it home to you, baby? I'm talking about somebody that really don't truly care about you. That's your enemy. And the Bible say, amen, look how low down dirty that he is. The Bible said he will wait till you fall asleep. Ain't that like somebody? Tell, don't, don't act like a thief. Gonna wait till you fall asleep. Uh, you're not at home. He can't come in your face. Look at it. The Bible said that he waited until men fell asleep. Mm -hmm. And when men fell asleep, the Bible said that the enemy of your hater came and so tear among the wheat. Now, you know that the wheat is a good thing, Michael. That's a good thing because that's what we plant in the wheat. The wheat is what we're gonna harvest. The wheat, the wheat. But the Bible said that the enemy has come and so tear among your weak. Look at the strategy of the enemy. And the Bible said we must not be ignorant uh, unto the devices of the enemy. And look how cunning and crafty the enemy is. He's going to sow something in similarity to what we value good. Uh, he's going to sow something that look like what you're trying to value. Now you know, amen, weak and tear, amen, would fool the natural eye. That's why the Lord said, amen, don't you pluck it up. Uh, because you go out there and pluck it up, try to pluck up the tear, you may accidentally or on purpose pluck up the wheat. And the Bible said the Lord said, I can't help you plucking up my wheat because I done invested too much in the wheat. Who in here can testify? Look at somebody tell me, he ain't through with me yet, baby. Because he done started a good work on me and he that has begun the work is able to finish the work. Look at three folks and tell them that's how patient with me, baby. I'm still on the potter's wheel. He's still working some things in me and out of me. Oh, my God. Thank God that he's not slack as men count slackness. But you better tell somebody he's long-suffering towards us all that's not what the any shall pass, but that all shall come, come, come to repentance. I thank God for his long-suffering. I thank God for the patience of God. I thank God for his patience towards me that when I went fit to live, he was patient. When I was out of the ark of safety, he was patient. When my mind wasn't made up, he was, yes, 
just give patience to me. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I find three folks and tell them, amen, thank God uh, for the patience of God uh, because he's just been patient with you. Uh, you know you've been meaner than a junkyard dog, uh, but he's been patient with you. Uh, you know you have been faithful, uh, but he's been patient with you. Uh, you know, amen, you done told some lies, uh, but he's been patient with you. Uh, and I thank God for his patience. I thank God for his long suffering. Uh, who was the song that said when everybody looked up on me uh, and saw the bad in me, uh, God saw the good in me. Uh, thank God, hallelujah, uh, that he didn't throw me away when you wanted to throw me away. Uh, that he didn't kick me to the curb uh, because you wanted to kick me to the curb. Uh, and now, whoop, tell somebody, there it is, I'm here now, baby. Uh, and thank God for his patience. Uh, but the Bible say uh, that when the enemy came in uh, is when men slept. Uh, somewhere men became unconscious. Uh, somewhere men became unaware. Uh, somewhere men lost the focus. Uh, they lost the vision. Uh, and when the enemy came in uh, and so tear, look at somebody say, he so discord. Uh, he so envy. Uh, he so division. Uh, he so strife. Uh, but he only sold it when men were asleep. Mm. Take your seat in Jesus' name. Now, tell somebody he's He's going to wait till you fall asleep. Mm -hmm. uh, now, he, he, he has a, enemy has a strategy himself. Mm -hmm. He's doing better than some of us. Don't, you don't have a plan. You don't have a strategy. You, you just chilling, baby. You just flowing. You just going with the flow. Mm -hmm. But watch this. Watch this. Because the enemy know, enemy know, enemy know that, he, he's going to wait, Sister Kelly. He's going to wait, amen, Sister Gwen, until you fall asleep. Mm. But look what the enemy knows. The enemy been watching you because the Bible says he's been like a roaring lion going back and forth, seeking whom he may devour. Uh, he's going back and forth, waiting until you let down your guard. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, that means that when you get caught up in the curls of other things, uh, of the curls of this world, uh, you become unfocused. Uh, now, now, now you got too much on your plate now. You got too much to deal with. Uh, and the enemy knows now that you can be overwhelmed with the curls of this world. Uh, I hope you get the revelation because he's saying now, I'm going to wait till you fall asleep. Uh, even if your eyes are closed or not closed. Because I come to tell you, many of you walking, looking at me now, that's as sleep as sleep can be. Uh, you better have fire. Somebody say, you got to be aware of the walking dead, baby. Mm -hmm. uh, hallelujah. Uh, because you can be just a wide awoke. And that's what the enemy say. Uh, he said, I'm going to wait till you become spiritual sleep or even spiritual sleep. Because spiritual sleep, you, 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 you looking, but you ain't seeing. Mm -hmm. You looking, but you ain't attaining. Huh? You looking, but you're not apprehending. Huh? You looking, but you're not understanding what you see. Huh? You look, you, you seeing me as a tree. Take a seat. That, that's what happened. You, 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 you spiritual blind. You seeing, but you're not seeing. Mm -hmm. You hearing, but you're not comprehending. Mm hmm. Will simply mean, amen, you you wide awoke, but you sleep. And the enemy is saying, amen, because he know that he that is in you is greater than him. Mm -hmm. And he know that he's no match to you huh, because he know what dwells in you. Look at somebody say, I, 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 I'm armed and dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yes, you armed and he, he know that you armed and dangerous. And that's why the enemy, he, he don't play fair. He's no match to you. So he got to use everything to his advantage. Huh? And the greatest strategy that he has is deception. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. The greatest, the power, the strategy that he has is deception. That's why the scripture said, uh, 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 amen, be not deceived. Huh? Don't let nobody fool you. Uh-huh. Don't, don't, don't. In this age of knowledge and technology, don't let nobody slide one in on you real quick. Uh-huh. Don't, 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 don't let nobody enemy come and bring division and discord, amen, because you only get, you only going to get misinformation from someone that has fallen asleep on the job. Tell somebody, that, 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 that's a danger, amen, and you falling asleep on the job. Because when you fall asleep, amen, you just in subconsciousness, unconsciousness. Uh, 
Look, somebody take your seat. That's why I tell somebody, you better, you better guard your minds and dreams. Mm -hmm. You better guard your spirit and your mind before you enter into a dream. Mm -hmm. Because some things of a dream are what you entertain just before you fell asleep. So the enemy said, what the enemy said, the enemy said, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come and you know, invade your territory. Because he know, he know that when you get deep sleep, and, and no, God, the Spirit of God searches all things, even the deep things of God. So, but the enemy, but the enemy does it, amen, and, and, and for evil and not for good. And so, Brother Dan, I'm closing, but he said that when you slept, so when men physically slept, I can understand, but, but spiritual, there's a sleekness of us being unaware. There's a sleepness when God is moving all around you. Mm -hmm. And the atmosphere in the room, the change, and the praise director, and the leader is telling you to reach for God and to search for God in you. Mm. And when the Lord has come in and, and, you know, and tabernacle the mumbles and come down to bless you and to heal you or everything that ails you and to touch your body where you hurt and, and mend you where you've been broken and the presence of the Lord is in the room like he is now instead of you just reaching for God, huh, you subconsciousness in your spirit has fallen asleep. And what happened is, amen, when God come to do a new thing, when God come to set you free, when God come to deliver, you miss it because what happened was you were yet awakened physically but in the spirit you better tell somebody you was asleep wake up you mighty man take your seat bishop told her one time when can the wind blow and the trees not move huh you mean to tell me unless we are spiritual sleep how can we not move, Kelly, when he then invade our presence? Men of Baptist Church, they just saying, oh, gentle Savior. Mm -hmm. Pass me not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I mean, if you're coming this way, touch me. Mm -hmm. You coming by, heal me. You coming by, deliver me. You coming by me, just touch me. Is anybody in the building ever been touched? And you can't afford to be physically in spiritual sleep when the Lord has invaded your territory. You better pull somebody and tell me, you better wake up. You better wake up. Oh, you sleeping child. Zion them falling asleep. And what happened is the enemy wants to Invade Zion. Leaders have fallen asleep. And because leaders have fallen asleep, the enemy has came in and so tear among us. Mm -hmm. Look like us, but they don't act like us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why? Because the enemy has snuck in. And that's why, man, so much is going on among the believers. That's why so much is going on in the house of God, because the enemy has snuck in. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, man, that while we slept, he sold his tail. While we slept. While we slept. Why other things captivated our mind. Mm -hmm. While we took our eyes off of the prize. Mm -hmm. We fell asleep. We fell asleep. He just snuck into our homes. Mothers against daughters and fathers against sons because we didn't falling asleep. In the church, ministers against ministers and deacons against ursules and members against leadership. 
because we don't fall anymore. Us three. He here. The Bible said, Brother Michael, he has come among us. And so this discord, so this tag. And because the Lord loves us so, you can have your seat on back. Because the Lord, God loves us so, God said, I don't want to harm the weak. I hope you're getting that revelation because some folk will say, hey man, that's because we still dwelling among the town that we have lost our focus. No. God saying now it's been revealed of now that the men know of the town. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You better tell your tell somebody your pastor see the town. Mm-hmm. But because he loved the wheat so much, he's willing to suffer with the town. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost on that one. To let you know that we haven't fell off the wall. Hut the doctor set on the wall. Tell somebody we refuse to fall, though. But he said, because I love the wheat so much, I'm willing to suffer with the town. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, lift your hand. Thank God for the wheat. Here goes your time. 